Saturday morning. Wait a minute. Am I working morning, on Saturday Meredith. morning? There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. Uh -huh. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. Um, is sports betting legal? What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Okay, so weird thing happened. Um, everything looks okay here. Um, the game didn't save in the right spot, so I had to play like half of Friday over again before I got here. So I hope everything is in order. Um, I think this is the campground here, right? Probably. All right, well, we got a few places to go. Quite a few, actually, if you look around us. Holy cow. Wait, what are you doing, game? I am not touching the con- Really? I clicked on that from over there? Is that what just happened? That is so weird. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Tina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. Fair enough. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. And now, music. Oh, all right. Um, which, is it this one? It is. Okay. So, um, between last session and this session, I'm playing this on a different day than the other four episodes. Um, I did record some ambient videos in this game, which turned out pretty okay. It's, it's a bit hard to make them. Um, for one, because this is third person and it's hard to get her out of the picture. Like, really hard. Wait, what am I doing? 104 West 2nd Street. Okay, there's a little package. So yeah, it's hard to get her out of the picture. And in a lot of games, you can trick it in third person by standing up against a wall or a pillar or something, position the camera like this, and hope that, you know, the camera clips through her and you remove her. But in this game, her head is always in the way and, and you can't really do it. The only way I could get shots with her um, is by sitting her on a bench. And there's only so many benches in the game. There's only like six or so. And it kind of gets her out of the way. I got to crop it a little right. bit, but it works. I'll leave it on the doorstep. So I got a few ambient videos coming out in this game, which turned out nice. The other difficult part is, and it's really difficult, is that it doesn't appear at first glance, but there is a day-night cycle in this game. Look at the sun. The sun is moving. It's very slow, but it is moving. So it does start down there and it makes its way across the sky until night. And the shadows follow it, which means making ambient videos is very difficult because you got to deal with moving shadows. And so how do you make a one hour video when the shadows are always moving? You can't loop it or you can. You just got to do it in a clever way. It's difficult. Anyways, I was able to make a couple of them, so that's nice. Where am I going now? One more here. Bam! That's efficiency. Thank you. All right, here goes nothing. What is going to be the best route to take here? Probably this way. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a, a lefty. 
up here. Then we'll just go around the lake. I'm guessing after we deliver the movies or pick up the movie thing from the mechanic, we're going to need to take it back into town. I'm guessing. Look at all the traffic on this road. This place is bumping. Pardon me, excuse me. Also remember, we got that phone call at the end of last episode of the post office wondering why I'm, I'm doing things I shouldn't be doing. Oh. <clears> hmm. <throat> There's cops. I don't think they do anything, though. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's not happy about the, the videotape thing. I don't know who snitched on me. We're going to have to figure that out. Is the detectorist here? I don't see him. I wonder if he if he moves about the place. Also, there's a road here. What is down this road? Is that a car? I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Oh, well, that's nice. I'll be careful. Only you can prevent forest fires. Man, that guy used to be all over the place. So this is a place just to chill and, and enjoy the scenery. Who are these people? Can I steal their drinks? No? Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or Jill? Oh. Or both. Uh, to both. Here you go. Okay, well, I didn't expect this. I thought we were going to the cabins, but I guess it's this place. Ooh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. <laughs> Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! Uh, toilet paper? Toilet paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ah. Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> um. Huh? No harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Do I need to get some? Nice RV, by the way. Is it yours? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's awesome. We borrowed it. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now! Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? <laughs> the authorities. <laughs> okay. That bird just fly into the grass? Can I loot this place? There's no looting. Can I go check out their unmentionables? Yep, definitely unmentionables. All right, that's a little creepy. Is this is this the toilet over here? All right, it's not that kind of paper, apparently. There's no plate. Where did they go? Oh no! Oh no! I don't know what's going on in there. Huh. Pleasant. Okay, I had enough. Yeah, I was expecting the... I thought they were talking about this place down here, and that's why that mail was there, but I guess not. One campground. Oh. Okay, cool. I, I may have missed that if I wasn't curious. Alright, let's blow this joint. And I suppose maybe we um, try to get some papers? Who, uh, who are we going to get those from? Who do you think? 
Maybe the, the fishy guy. We're skipping by the motel. Oh my god. Looks like the the wagon from vacation. We had a wagon like that when I was a, a wee little kid. We had one. Well, it wasn't that color. It was more like a light blue, but it had the wood paneling on it. It had a back seat. So you had the two front seats. Then you had the middle seat, which is like a, a bench seat. Then you had a third seat, which was also a bench seat. But there was a fourth seat in the very, very back that faced the back of the vehicle. So you could sit in the car all the way in the back facing the rear, looking out the rear. And when you think about it, you know, that's very dangerous. Like, very dangerous. But that's what we had. We rode in those. Oh, do I just deliver it here? Okay. Is this like a creepy place? Uh, maybe a little creepy. Almost looks like, um... Well, I mean, it looks like pretty much any cabin in the woods of a horror movie, right? I was thinking Evil Dead, but pretty much any cabin. I noticed something about the truck noises in this game. I don't think, or at least the, I mean, listen. You hear that background noise? What is it? It feels like a distant idling truck, right? And you hear how it slows down and then picks back up again. Almost like the AC unit is on or something. It, I feel like, I don't know if, if the truck is supposed to be idling or what, but it feels like it is. But the audio is not is not localized to the truck, but to the player. Because you get in here and then you you rev the engine up, I guess? It wouldn't be idling if you, if you have to crank it like that. So I don't know what that background engine is in this game. It's weird. I, I came to realize that when I was making the ambient video, I'm like, what, what is that sound anyways? I almost feel like my playthrough is bugged because there's no way that's supposed to be playing while the car is off and you're away from it. I don't know. Well, there's an eagle up there. Uh, do I have to go in here? That would be a yes. This is the lumberjack. We just had that awkward conversation, if you remember, back at the diner last episode. We were supposed to work on something together, but I, the, the game was a little awkward about it, and I don't know if it happened or not. Or if he left before it happened. I don't know. I couldn't tell. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Uh, yeah, that was a little awkward. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Uh, was that was bad I such bad company? No, no, not at all. I, I really enjoyed it. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. He is. I don't, I don't really understand what's going on with this. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? Uh, 
maybe you need a shrink appointment to answer that. I like it. Maybe you need a shrink appointment to answer that. <laughs> yes, but for now, I'll stick to my wood chopping therapy. And not getting new annoying envelopes also helps. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Okay. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Um, like, like, is it like a lumber confidential plan? Okay. Oh, come on. I won't Peer tell pressure. Soul. Peer yeah, pressure works. No. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if they're suggesting that he left because he suddenly found he had feelings for somebody, which would have been really awkward since it was like the third time they talked and and they were meeting there on on a you know professional setting type thing. I don't know. I hope it's not that because that would make it a little weird. might be kind of the point I don't know because they, they did specify in the description of the game that that things in this place are a little weird or something like that I don't know all right we got some tapes to pick up hey didn't you just fix this car the other day or was that a different one I think it was this one. Hey, Lori. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yeah, I did. Here it is. It wasn't the best. Um. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I mean, it wasn't a total spaz, but it definitely wasn't my kind of movie. For sure. There's always plenty more movies in Angie's video rental shop. Have a nice day, Lori. Exactly. You too, Miss W. All right, easy peasy. I'll, I'll just take these, I guess. Can I can I hop in the front seat and have it auto go into the back? I wonder. That that seems like a yes. Okay. Cool. Saves me a little time. All right. Well, let's make a turn here. This looks like it. Oh, I keep it in my hand. All right. Well, I mean, oh, I have to put it back here. All right. Well, I killed that idea. Here's your mail. Easy peasy. This is the guy with a fancy grilling area. Maybe they'll invite us. I could go with some barbecue chicken. I'd rather enjoy it. I thought those were rats scurrying across the road. That's too funny. 103 Vintage Street. What do you mean? I picked it up, game? What are you talking about? There we go. That was really weird. I don't think we've met this person, have we? Hmm. I guess nobody's home. Well. Easy peasy. All right, what do we have left here? We have the the movie store. Okay, that's it. Easy day. A 
forgot the game regulates how fast you can go in certain areas. I can't speed down Main Street like I wanna. Okay. Hopefully uh, I won't get in trouble with that fire hydrant there. Oh wait. I'm gonna have to tell her I can't do it anymore. Good day! Half price, no way! Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Um, she seemed positive. I think she might act the same. Huh? Better get you don't see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. You literally have no customers in here. What do you mean? Um. No. Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. What? Uh, I'm on it. Change my mind. Not doing it. Um, I'm I'm gonna take them. <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mhm. Mm Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. A little weird. Again, we're we're back to weird. Her talking about how stressful stressful her job is, but crickets, crickets. Maybe that is the stress. <gasps> Maybe that's the stress. Do I have to deliver this? Oh, I got to deliver it today. Oh no. Okay. I'll do one more and then I'll, I'll let the guy chew me out and then I'll put a stop to it. I don't know who's snitching on me. Seems kind of messed up if you ask me. Going to the bait shop guy. Also, maybe we'll get an option to ask about rolling papers here. What's this guy doing? I was passing peacefully. Wow, toxic. Toxic drivers. This is Lake. This is Providence Oaks, not Houston. What are you doing? Mackie. That's his name. I couldn't remember. I'm assuming he's going to be up there again. I assumed wrongly. Okay. 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 Fair enough. I got to go all the way back. And I don't walk so fast. Oh, Mr. I didn't Mackey, see him there. I've got I'm this blind. movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? So it gets stolen. I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Jaws it is. Duh. Have a nice day. Duh. All right. Hopefully, what would be amazing is if he's like super critical of it. It would never happen that way. I'm a professional. I know this stuff. All right. Back we go. Is that a bug zapper on top there? I think that was a bug zapper. What is it? On top of the lamppost. 
Alright, so what I think is going to happen is we're going to get back home, we're going to get a phone call from the post office. Not very happy about me. I don't know why they wouldn't go to Frank, right? They'd call Frank be like, yo, you gotta rein in your, your crazy ass uh, postal worker. This is illegal. You can't do that. But no, they're skipping over Frank. Is, does Frank really work there? Is Frank actually a person? Or is he a figment of my imagination? What is going on? I don't know. But maybe we'll find out. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like, instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. You know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and smelled instantly. Oh god, lilacs. He teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangout and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be watch watchtower. Oh. Um, lilacs. Oh my god, they close my lungs up so fast. Um, well, I mean, it's it's Sunday. It's not like I'm delivering mail, right? So I don't know what, what would happen if I decide I'm too busy. What would I do? I don't know. Let's let's meet Kay. Yeah. Yeah. The Countess and the Carpenter. Oh. Chapter 3. Oh, Come we'll in. do this. Were the most regretted words Cecilia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by, Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Good, glad to hear. 